Okay, I'm going to continue working on this piece, um, which I started the other day and have had wrapped in plastic. So it's firmed up a little bit because I've left it out a, a couple of times, but um, it's still plenty pliable. This is the piece that I used. Uh, you can see the bottom is nicely rounded because I used this punny. So I'm going to place it back in there. You can see the piece has already shrunk a little bit. I've got a little bit of a gap there, and that was pretty much to the edge before. You can see the gap. So I'm going to try to center this back on here and uh, stretch that out again. Yeah, it's firmed up a bit, <laughs> but we'll get there. It'll soften up as I work the clay. Um, I could use water, but we talked about use, the use of water in our pinch pots and uh, try to use as little as possible. I mean, obviously things are cracking on you. You're gonna wanna use some water soften things up. If uh, things get a bit stiff and you feel like you don't want to use water, you don't want to squeeze too hard because that will cause cracking. If you just gently start to pinch the piece, it will eventually soften up a bit. Okay, but if you try and put a lot of pressure on there real quick, you're going to have trouble. So now I'm just smoothing out the inside a little bit with my thumb. This motion again. And I want to make that transition from the bottom of the pot to the side of the pot or the body of the piece. And uh, pulling up a little bit of clay as I do that. Um, I'm going to use both, both hands, both pinching motions here. And I can rotate this on this punny as I go. And this will start to soften that piece up. I'm also using this portion of my index fingers, both of them, to pull that top lip in. I'm curling it slightly in as I'm pinching. And the reason I'm doing that is, I think I mentioned in the last video, that if things start going out, it's harder to bring them back in later as they get thinner. So by maintaining that curve going in, I can always bring it back out if I choose. Coming back in is a little bit more difficult. Now I'm thinning out the top lip a little bit. And I'm pushing down with my thumb, pushing that clay back down. You can see all ever so slight cracks starting to develop. Super, super small, not a big deal at all. You just rub over them like that and they're gone. Don't allow those to get bigger before you address them. Or you will have problems. This is so relaxing. 
who really enjoy making pinch pots. I never knew how much I would love this in my later years. Uh, all I ever wanted to do was throw on the wheel and throw big and, you know, produce, produce, produce. This gives you a chance to slow down a little bit. A lot of fun. Really, really enjoy it. And I hope you uh, will enjoy it too. Um, I get a lot of students in my wheel classes. I used to always give the first assignment <laughs> would be a, just a little pinch pot. And uh, I got a lot of flack from that from uh, some of my students. They just, this is a wheel class. We want to use the wheels. Well, the reason I do that is because at the end of that first class, they've got something they can glaze and they've got a finished piece. Um, well, it's not finished, but it's, it's a piece that they can, that they can learn to glaze with later. Because you don't want to do all your glazing experiments on your, your uh, wheel thrown pieces that you've finally got out. So you can see the bottom is looking a little bit tooled because I've used this very um, symmetrical as opposed to from here up. Um, so I'm going to alter that a little bit. I don't want it all like this. Uh, I could I could choose to go with this look and uh, throughout the entire piece, but I'm kind of preferring more of the handmade, the hand felt look. <clears throat> so I'm going to remove the use of this and start to integrate that curve into the piece. So you can see how I've begun to bring this curve. It's not quite as sharp as it is over here. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's time is what we have right now, right? It's all worthwhile. Honestly, once you've established your piece, you've got to kind of established the form that you're after. It's basically just refining from there. We're pinching. like the sounds. You probably don't like the dead air, but it's something quite wonderful about the, the rhythm. And the tone of soft clay, working the soft clay. Okay, it's getting there. Still got a ways to go. I've not even talked about a foot. There's very uh, several ways of addressing the foot. Approaching that. And uh, that'll be the next, that'll be the next video. Okay, so for now, it's just a matter of finishing up 
and you can see that I'm trying to kind of roll that lip out. I don't know if you can necessarily see, I hope you can see, but I'm trying to roll that interior lip out to the exterior. The exterior is still straight. It could flare a little bit. It's your choice. Just don't exaggerate that flare or it will become very uncomfortable to drink from. Um, pinch pot. There you go.